Today we're testing cheat codes for the game Sons of the Forest. If you guys all do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm almost at 5k. Okay everybody, you may be saying, how do you activate these cheat codes? The first step, you have to have the debug menu. Now, the way you uh, get the debug menu is up for you to uh, digest. There's a lot of things you can do with the debug menu. It's, it's, it's a pretty useful tool. For instance, say you want to have Kelvin, but you just wish you could have, you know, Kelvin everywhere. You just, you just wish Kelvin could be everywhere. Well, the first step is you type in the command add character, Robbie. And now guys, we have a hundred instances of Kelvin. Now, I don't recommend spawning in 100, at least not all at the same place, because your game, in fact, will break. I'm going to have to reload the run now. Let's give you another test. Say you wanted to get all story items, but you didn't want to go through 14 hours of gameplay. I I'm saying 14. It usually takes like anywhere five. It, it takes a couple hours to get through it as long as you're not speed running it. You type in the command, add all items and now we have a full inventory of everything you can get in game including all story items you see we have the shovel here we have the fire axe I mean, we have things you guys probably haven't even seen yet i'm joking there there was no new things added uh <laughs> so yeah look at all these skin pouches we have guest key board we have the maintenance key card look we have everything guys that command gives you literally quite literally everything say for instance you want to get a good look at Timmy, you know, we don't really get to interact with him. I mean, you take his hand in like you see him in the cutscenes, but you don't really see him. Well, you just do add Timmy. And look at that, guys. You actually have an AI version of Timmy that will like straight up walk around the island. And you can't give him commands or anything, but he just kind of walks around the island can't really interact with him he's kind of a dud but we can get an in close look at timmy's player model now and it uh it looks pretty interesting oh oh puffton does work uh puffton worked you guys see him we get an up close look of puffton sorry guys i just had to put him down yes oh it is oh that's creepy Look at that, guys. You can spawn in the puff puffins if you want. Sluggy. That's what that's called, right? That big one's called Sluggy. Ooh, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you guys... Ew. Ew, guys. Oh, it's making weird noises. You can spawn in Sluggies. Oh, it's not meant to... Can I... You can't actually kill it. Okay, Sluggy is just gonna infinitely go into the ocean. I'm not saving... Oh, you're disgusting looking. I hope you know that. Oh, it makes such a weird... I'm just going to let that thing keep going that way. You know, maybe New York will have to deal with that, you know, off the coast or something, you know? <laughs> Could you imagine that? A fucking sluggy coming in. Add character demon. Ooh, these guys actually do have eyeballs. Ooh. Stop moving. Sir. <laughs> Why did it make that noise? Oh my god, he's laid out. Wait. Look at him, he's fucking laid out. Oh my god, it is Demon Boss. Holy shit. Wait. Wait, you lazy fucks. And Knight, you absolute lazy fucks. What the fuck is this, boss? Is this is this not just a blo- Guys, I was right in my last video. There's nothing special about this boss. This is literally just a big version of this. How is this a boss fight? Look at him. They're kind of they're kind of cute if you think about it you can keep them as pets so as you can see with the cheat codes you can spawn in basically any bosses there's a little bit more you can do though for instance say you want to change the season maybe saying there are other seasons in this game yes if you wait long enough about maybe 30 days in 40 days into your playthrough you should go through one cycle but you can also set specific seasons for instance, I just changed the season to winter and we're going to watch as the world around us magically starts to have clouds everywhere. It gets very dark and very cold out and more than likely starts to snow. You can actually see as the clouds come in. So let's also go through some of the other things. You can change seasons, you can 
do so much. You can do build hacks where if you instantly place down any, yep, look, we got the snow coming. Look guys, snow worked. Whee! Season changed. You got instant book build if you look right here. That means any thing you put down is an instant instant you have demo mode which i'm not really sure what it what that is oh my god i see what that did so demo mode kind of makes it so that your hud goes away which is pretty cool trees cut all i don't think i should do it i don't think i should do that cheat code guys trees cut all fuck oh my god this is gonna be such a oh the game crashed i think or we wait and it comes back maybe oh no guys what did i just do I don't think the forest is a forest anymore. Okay, maybe it only cuts some. I think it only cuts some, right? Okay, so it only does them in like a radius, I assume. I was expecting, I thought it was like a loading there and all of them disappeared. That would have been crazy, but that also probably would have crashed the game. The, the command called block player final death. I guess that like, okay, so in the forest, if you don't know, if you get knocked down, you come back technically one time and then you die for real the next time and load your most recent save. I'm assuming if with that, it's either infinite, like where you're like either hung up, strung up in a cannibal camp or in one of the cave sacks. That's, I'm, I'm calling them cave sacks. I think that's what you should call them. Or it's either you just don't ever get that. So yeah, guys, that's it for the debug menu. It's basically Sons of the Forest cheat codes. I mean, it's it's they're kind of cheating. It's, it's kind of cheat codes. I mean, you can spawn in multiple Kelvins. You can spawn in multiple Virginias. You can spawn in... Timmy's. I bet you guys didn't know that. You can spawn in the Puffins. You can spawn in Sluggy, even though it's not an actual object you can kill. I mean, you can do so many things with the debug menu. And I can't wait to see what they add to the game, which means gets added to the debug menu and debug effects. And night. We somehow see this video. It would be cool if you had like a list of what all objects are, just so you, like people who are already finished and want to mess around with mods and taking photos, for instance. A photo mode would be pretty cool to have. But anyways, guys, it has been Ziggy. This has been Sons of the Forest Cheat Codes. I mean, that's basically what it is. See you guys in the next one.